YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Bulba, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, man, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Pundit Picks SBC card for Mickey Van De Ven. Van De Ven is an 88 rated card. He has high medium work rates, left footer with three star skill moves and four star weak foot. Now, we do see a bit of versatility with the card as he can play both the center back and left back positions. And if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card does have the potential to be really good defensively. He does have 87 pace with 80 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. Now, the 80 87 pace is really good but the 80 acceleration isn't great it is a bit of a pace split and whenever there's that big of a pace split i don't know man i feel like you probably have to go ahead and give him the shadow chem style to kind of help out with that 74 shooting i mean if you want to go ahead and play him as a left back he does have 88 shot power and 84 long shot so you never know man might be pretty useful in game now the 70 passing is going to be a very important stat if you do want to go ahead and play him as a fullback 82 short pass 87 long pass and 43 curve probably not going to be the most accurate passer the 80 dribbling is another okay stat for the card he doesn't have great agility and balance 85 reactions 86 ball control and then also 80 composure for a center back you would definitely want a little bit more reactions and then a lot more composure the 89 defending and 90 physical are obviously the two standout stats for the card 88 interceptions 88 defensive awareness 91 stand tackle and 88 slide tackle i think the card defensively is going to be very good and then 90 physical is going to be a huge part to his game 99 jumping 80 stamina as a fullback is not great 90 95 strength and 89 aggression should be very strong on and off the ball now if we jump on over to footman boys we can see that van de ven does have six different play styles he has the power shot and aerial play style plus now like i said man the power shot might be quite effective if you do go ahead and play him as a fullback the aerial is pretty good especially on corners and then he does also have the incisive pass block slide tackle and bruiser so not a lot of defensive uh play styles he doesn't have the anticipate which is a tad bit unfortunate now he can have the lengthy and mostly lengthy acceleration types and when it comes to chemistry styles boys i do think that the shadow is probably your best option the shadow is going to give him the lengthy acceleration type he's going to have 94 pace with 88 acceleration and 99 sprint speed and most importantly he's going to have 95 defending as well 96 interceptions 92 defensive awareness 99 stand tackle and 99 slide tackle really good defensive stats right there and something that i find really interesting man if we go ahead and look at this little chart right here with the shadow camp style he does become a 93 rated center back that's going to be very interesting to test out in today's video as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new vendeven card we're going to be playing them at both the center back and left back positions in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one of foot champions using the new vendeven card and we are going to have a really big test and Bappe, Drugba, Ronaldinho, Messi. It's a very good team. All right, boys, first things first, let's go ahead and test out the card's dribbling. Now, his dribbling stats aren't great. I think he has like 85 reactions, 80 ball control. He does have a bigger build in game. And the left stick dribbling, although it's not that important if you play him as a center back, it's not that bad. We're going to do as much manual defending as we can with him. He's making that run with Mbappe. And defend, okay, the manual defending right there does feel a little bit slow, but that's okay. Now, I might try to get Desai in behind. So, I want to go ahead and test out his long-range passing. Van de Ven. I mean, his long pass isn't half bad. That's pretty accurate right there. We're going to have to test that out a little bit more throughout the video. He might try to go over top. I'm going to... I thought about stepping right there. We got to get back into position. How's the recovery speed? It's all right, boys. I can't lie. It wasn't great in that situation. I feel like we were never going to catch up to Ronaldinho. I want to maybe try to incorporate our fullbacks as much as possible. Van de Ven. Weak foot over top through ball. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. I feel like it's quite accurate, but the shape of the ball was not great. I kind of want to test out his sprint speed a little bit more, so I'm going to run with the ball. And then, okay, man, so there's definitely some power behind his runs. Does have the power shot play style as well. I mean, it's a decent attempt. And then putting on the pressure. Okay, that was a pretty decent tackle. We don't get possession, which is a tad bit unfortunate. But I feel like in the tackle so far, without the anticipate play style, it's still pretty good. Nice, Van de Ven. That's good recovery right there. Nice AI defending. We needed that. Yeah, I mean, like, his passing is pretty good. But, like, honestly, with team of the season around the corner, and it's, like, almost, like, May. Like, that was an over-the-top through ball, boys. It's not great. I think the low curve is what's killing it. Gonna maybe try, try to, like, anticipate, like, a pass. Okay, man. I will say Van de Ven in the tackle has not been bad. I think his really high physicality is what's helping out a little bit as well. I didn't put too much power behind that. Van de Ven making that run. Win the header that's on me boys i think i put a little bit too much power right there but again aerially he is most definitely a threat i think if you get a lot of corners throughout the game he can score a lot of goals for you he's gonna play through 
Van de Ven good in the tackle again. I feel like if they maybe would have given him like the anticipate play style plus, that would have been ideal. I'm going to go ahead and signal the run with Desai. I'm just going to try to go over the top. Mickey Van de Ven. It's decent, man. That's definitely a good tactic to go ahead and incorporate into your game. You can really get up the pitch easily. He's going to go over the top again, Van de Ven. The recovery speed, not half bad. I feel like it's just his strength. His strength and aggression is definitely what's carrying the card at the moment. Last time he read what we were trying to do. Van de Ven's making that run. Takes a touch. Mickey Van de Ven. And we're going to find the back of the net, man. So again, if you want to go ahead and maybe incorporate him in a more advanced position, he can create chances. Van de Ven, good in the tackle again. I feel like just sometimes he isn't very swift when you're trying to defend with him. Like the sprint jockey could be a little bit better. The over top through ball is good, man. This is all going to come from a Van de Ven uh, tackle. And we're going to find the back of the net, so we'll take it, man. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And in game number two, we're going to go ahead and test him out at the left back position. We're coming up against Larson, Cantona, team of the year, Mbappe. Uh, he does have Ginola Rolfo. It's a very good team. But yeah, man, as a center back, he was pretty good. I think for 60,000 coins, if you want to have a little bit more fun with the game, he's probably a good option. But as a left back, it's going to be very interesting to test out how good he is. Now, we are going to be using him as an overlapping fullback. Van de Ven, ball roll, Trivella. You never know, boys. You never know. You got to test things out like that. I don't know, man. He doesn't really suit that position because he's so big in game. But that's a good tackle. I feel like the manual defending isn't half bad. Now, as that overlapping fullback, we need him to get forward as well. So he's making that run over top. Ooh, Van de Ven, decent. Power shot. Campbell actually got back right there. But the attacking positioning was not half bad. He is evolving Kessie, which is pretty cool. Oh, Van de Ven, that's a good interception. I feel like for 60,000 coins, you're getting a player that's pretty good defensively. Now, again, I might try to get Van de Ven in behind. I might incorporate Bruno Fernandez's long-range passing. Nice. Van de Ven, the stamina is already not great. But he does have the strength, man, to beat these defenders. So we'll look for the cutback. I mean, the lower passing, I mean, it's going to be quite difficult to get a few assists with him. But as you guys can see, man, as an overlapping fullback, the stamina in the 18th minute after making like two or three sprints is already a problem. So that's why I think he can't really play that position. He might try to go over top. Van de Ven recovery speed. The stamina, man. I'm going to move him back to the center back position. The stamina. You make one run with him and he's already tired. That's not great. Fernandez, Van de Ven. Try to go for the interception both times. We don't get it. But he's good in the tackle. Maybe if you want to play him as like a stay back fullback, that's probably the best way to go ahead and incorporate him. But he does have high medium work rates. So I think he might naturally make those runs. Is he going to track the run? That's the question. Mickey Van de Ven with the switch. It's a good long-range pass. I feel like his long-range passing has been pretty consistent for the most part. Ah, I didn't think he was going to pull out his goalkeeper. He's making that run. I want to maybe try to whip it across with him. And then down the byline. Incorporate the strength. The cutback. It's good, Michael Essien. That's nice, man. That's decent fullback play right there. I feel like if you take that touch and, you know, incorporate his strength, his pace, I feel like you can, you can body a lot of fullbacks. Plays it through, Mickey Van de Ven. Up against Cuadrado. Again, with this physicality, he's going to beat him almost every time. Cuts it across. Maybe a little bit inconsistent when it comes to his passing. Here it is, boys. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is where we score. Van de Ven. I can feel it, man. I think on corners, he's going to bag you a lot of goals. That, that's gone down as an own goal, which is a tad bit unfortunate. But the aerial play style plus is very effective. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Van de Ven SBC card in a few games of Foot Champions. And to be completely honest, I mean, for 60,000 coins, you're getting a pretty decent player in-game. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we did go ahead and give him the Shadow Chem style. So 88 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. And in-game, I feel like his recovery speed was quite good, especially with the 99 sprint speed. But the 80 acceleration isn't great now the 74 shooting as you guys know we did go ahead and use him as a left back it wasn't great the 88 shot power and 84 long shots very inconsistent the 70 passing was another stat that was very inconsistent in my opinion the 82 short pass and 87 long pass are two really good stats but the low vision the low curve all of that just doesn't make it too accurate in game now keep in mind boys he is six foot four and in game he does have a bigger build so the 80 dribbling again didn't feel too great now i will say if you play him as a center back it doesn't make that big of a deal but if you do want to go ahead and incorporate him as a left back it isn't great now, i will say the 89 defending with the shadow camp style was very good man 96 interceptions 92 defensive awareness and then 99 stand tackle i did i think defensively he was very solid and then last but not least boys and i think the standout stat for the card the 90 physical 95 strength and 89 aggression 
possession. He is very strong on and off the ball. But the one thing that does let the card down is his 80 stamina. If you do want to go ahead and play him as a left back, I would advise you not to because his stamina isn't great. If you want to play him as like a stay back fullback, then maybe. But as an overlapping fullback, definitely not. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card like an 8 out of 10 rating. I feel like for the price, you're getting a pretty decent player. It is an 86 rated team with the team of the week card. So you're looking at around 65,000 coins. And I think if you're maybe just starting off with FC24, if you're looking for a new center back, Van de Ven is a pretty good option. I think the SBC is really good if you're starting off with FC24, if you maybe want like a Spurs past and present team. But other than that, man, I'd probably stay away from it. But that is going to be the end of today's video, man. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below what player you guys would like to see next and another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Bullbat. I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.